guys, happy Thursday. It's April from Mama Loves Food. We're gonna cook tonight, yay. How is everybody? I hope you've been well. I'm pulling up the comments so I can see you. I know it takes a little bit of a delay. So as soon as you're on, go ahead and say hi so we can chat. Oh, there we are, I just popped up over here, which means you guys should see it real soon. And any day it wants to pop up here would be super great. Thanks, Facebook. Facebook hates me today, y'all. The reason, while well, I'm late because I told you guys I had, hi, Lisa, hi, Kelly. Okay, uh, I'm trying to pull it up on here. I'm trying to pull it up on here. So I um, had five dentist appointments for my kids this afternoon. They were good, but they threw me off. And then um, I was ready to go 15 minutes ago, and I went to sign in on my um, iPad, which is what I film with, and I got locked out of my account. I think my kids must have tried to get on it when they were playing on it on our road trip and ooh, and locked me out. Anyway, so it's all reset. It's good. Hi, Deanna. Hi, Jelena. Hi, Dee Dee. Hi, Ashy. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Deanna. Hi, Holly. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Marie. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Luann. Hi, Laura. Hi, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Angie. Hi, Beverly. And another Lisa. Hi, Miss Barbara from South Jersey. I love that she always says that. Hi, Lisa. Okay, so we're going to make meatloaf tonight. Can you guys believe that we've been doing this for like, I don't even know, three years, four years now? Hi, Aline. Hi, Kashina. Hi, Cheryl. I'm so happy to see you. Hi, Cynthia. Uh, make sure to share, 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 guys. Um, anyway, yeah, we've been doing this show for three, four years, and I've had the website for over 10 years, and I've never done meatloaf. What? Is that crazy? I know. And I don't even have a real recipe for it. I just kind of make what I, what, using what I have. Um, so this afternoon I sat down and I took notes on like what I usually use. So we'll see if it works. I think it'll be okay. I know it's been so long. It's been almost a month or maybe a whole month. Oh my goodness. Anyway, that's right because I got really sick before we went out of town. Hey, hey, mama. Hi from Australia. Okay, so I'm going to pull this up on... Um, Facebook real super duper quick and hi Kalina hi Anton hi Grace meatloaf we're gonna make meatloaf show video URL got it okay we just sent the text message alert we just sent the oops Facebook messenger did I did it go um, Facebook Messenger alert, there it goes. I put a lot of chopped onions and green peppers, yum. I don't use green peppers, but I do use onion. Okay, uh, but you're obviously welcome to put in whatever you like. I have, I hate my mother-in-law's meal. I love my, oh no, I won't tell. Okay, sorry, just give me a second to do this sharing. And um, I know, I feel really out of practice. I can't believe it's been a month, you guys, that's crazy pants. Let me know. It's been longer for me because I had a baby. Yay! Congratulations to the baby. I'm very sorry to hear about the um, sickness though. Got the alerts. Great. Awesome. If you guys wouldn't mind sharing, that would be super awesome too. I feel like people have forgotten that we exist. All right. We are sharing to, bum, bum, bum. we're sharing to Miss Lynn's page, 365 Days of Baking. Did you guys see her do her pork recipes yesterday? Uh, we are sharing. Come on. We can do this. Come on. Facebook is slow today. Uh, we are sharing to, um, ooh, that's not what I meant to do. We are sharing to <gasps> Life So Savory, Miss Emily, our amazing seamstress. My friend always puts a whole hard boiled egg in her meatloaf. That's interesting. Thank you, Robin. Yay, I got the messenger alert. Woohoo. Okay, we are sharing to, uh, Facebook is so Princess Pinky Girl, Miss Jen. Beef, sausage, bacon, onion, etc. Yum. I don't put bacon in mine either, but that sounds delicious. I always do those bacon wrapped ones because my allergies are driving me crazy tonight. Oh my goodness. We are sharing to Miss Holly's page, Quirky Mama. I missed you too, Miss Terry. My mom used to put a whole egg in it too. That's so funny. I've never heard of that before. I love quirky things like that. Hi, Karen. Hello, Akukar. Akukar, what a cool name. Okay, 
We are sharing to Stephanie's page, Miss Spaceships and Laser Beams. What does the sign behind me say? It says, kind words cost nothing. I missed you too, Miss Cindy. Bacon on top, yum. We put um, ketchup and barbecue sauce on the top of ours. All right, and then we're gonna put this in the group. If it ever lets me share to a group. Uh, um, uh, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Cheese in the middle, what? Uh, if you can't hear anything, try Xing out. I'm coming back. Sometimes that'll fix the problem. Other times you could put on headphones because um, Facebook is cranky. All right, and then I don't know why Facebook's so slow today. Sorry, guys. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we are good. We are family. Okay, hi. Hey, guys. How are you? For those of you who are new, hi. Welcome. You look gorgeous. Cheers. We're having LaCroix. By the way, what a, a watcher, I don't know if they want me to say their name, so I'm not going to, um, but send me um, LaCroix earrings as a birthday present. How ridiculously awesome is that? I meant to wear them tonight and I totally forgot I got flustered. Canada was amazing. Thank you, Sophie. Um, this is an old Target from like three seasons ago. I love it. Okay, so we're going to make meatloaf. Oh my goodness, such a late start. Totally forgot my bowl. I'm going to grab my bowl. I'm just right here. You can still hear me. You can't see me. Don't, don't go away. Don't go away. Just grabbing my bowl. We're actually going to do two kinds of meatloaf. We're going to do my traditional meatloaf second. But first, we are going, oh my gosh, it's going to drive me crazy. I love that door open. How do you guys feel about, um, and this is, might be just like a crazy quirk of mine, but how do you guys feel about um, kitchen cabinet doors open? They make me crazy and it's still like a little bit open and I'm gonna try to ignore it, but <gasps> Valencia, hi girl. Okay, so we're gonna make um, two two versions of meatloaf. One that I've never tried before and then one is my um, regular meatloaf that I'm gonna try. Um, I think the hearing issues come from the distance from the microphone headphones help. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes the speaker or the mic picks us up great and sometimes it doesn't. I'm sorry, I wish I could help with that. Um, look for the reflection in the window. Oh, could you see me when I went across? Um, okay, we're gonna do mini turkey meatloafs. Weight Watchers friendly, cause yo, I just got back from vacation, so I need to get back on track. LaCroix makes me burp funny now, I love it. I can't stand it, my ex-husband used to do it on purpose. Oh my gosh, that would make me absolutely insane. Okay, we're gonna do ground turkey um, in a loaf pan for mini ones, and then those only take like 25 or so minutes um, to bake. They're gonna bake at 350. And then um, while those are baking, we'll make a full size meatloaf and then we'll say goodnight. <laughs> All right, I'm so glad I'm not the only one because it, it makes me crazy. Like it's only a sliver open now and it's gonna drive me absolutely bonkers, but that's okay, we'll live with it. Okay, so Kelly, I'm gonna need you to take notes tonight for me because we are recipe testing. We have two pounds for our, so for my standard one, again, I kind of just wrote down, I'll show you guys again, my notes that I made. This is like me trying to remember everything I put in my meatloaf um, because I usually kind of just wing it, um, but I know it'll be good. Two pounds of beef, two eggs, and like I said, for the first one, we're going to substitute turkey instead of beef. Two eggs, um, about a cup-ish, like one onion, grated grated my I think my mother-in-law taught me that trick it keeps you from having to saute it ahead of time um tablespoon of garlic uh, a cup of breadcrumbs I actually use Ritz crackers instead of regular breadcrumbs but you could use breadcrumbs Italian regular or panko if you wanted um <laughs> cabinet doors open equals six cents I love it um milk ketchup a little bit of ground mustard, bouillon cubes, which, oh my gosh, you guys, I just realized I don't have. I um, thought I had a bunch and I don't. So we'll just use a little extra Worcestershire sauce, but normally I would put a bouillon cube in there. Um, and Worcestershire sauce and a teaspoon of salt. Uh, and I might skip that because we're using Worcestershire sauce. Um, and then for the glaze, I do um, half ketchup or quarter cup ketchup, quarter cup barbecue sauce and 
two tablespoons of Worcestershire. I don't like a super sweet um, topping. <gasps> cornflakes, that's a cool idea. I have never heard to put cornflakes in uh, meatloaf before, but that's fantastic. I love it. Anything bready will work. Okay, so we're gonna start by grating the onion. Great, great, it's great. I'm gonna wash my hands first actually. I was just talking about making meatloaf and muffin tins of the day, yay! Um, so I have never made it with the turkey. Hopefully it does not come out too dry and crumbly. Um, we're just recipe testing, but the other one we know will work because it's a regular meatloaf recipe. We are family. Hey Shane, how are ya? You guys, Shane did the most awesome job while we were gone. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe he, we're probably gonna cry because um, I am wearing my glasses and that's what usually happens. Instant potatoes or oatmeal works too. Oh my gosh, Tina, that is such a smart idea. Oh, I'm grating on the wrong side, I'm like mincing. All right, we wanna, we wanna grate. So it's like thin bits, 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 bits. If you do the teeny tiny side, it doesn't work very well though. But you want it to be um, small. Oatmeal. Gail says layer half meat, raw lasagna noodles, cheese, zucchini noodles, and remaining meat. Top the sauce. I'm going to try that on this side. All right, so. Yeah. Yeah. I want one that's like in between. I don't want to go look for my other grater. I did this the other day, but I did mini pizza sauce and mozzarella cheese muffin tip. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh, gosh, I can feel it already. We are family. Shane is great. Shane, I want to do the, I want to play the ukulele. I want to put that in there. I've had a ukulele in my Amazon box for like two year checkout thing. What do you call it? Checkout. Oh, my gosh, cart. I don't know why I wear makeup today. Hmm, I'm trying to fan on. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, Shane is doing so great. So great. All right, we just need, we don't want the big chunks. We want the, we want the little bits. We need um, two cups total. Wish list, thank you. That's what I was trying to think of. I'm wishing, I'm hoping, I'm thinking, I'm dreaming. Kelly says, I bought one several months ago and it's been sitting in my closet ever since. That's probably what would happen to mine if we're being honest, but it doesn't stop me from wanting it. Whew. My eyes are, are your eyes burning from watching it? Isn't it funny what our bodies will do? I've got these, um, our, I had a bunch of onions that, that were starting to turn so the nanny cut them up into pieces for me and pulled the bad bits out, but it makes it harder to grate them. <laughs> Put a piece of bread in your mouth. I don't even know if I have bread right now. Piece of cracker. Ooh, there goes my manicure. Nope, I'm good, I'm good. I've not hit it yet. <laughs> Karen says it sounds like a good recipe. Thank you, hi Melissa. All right, that should probably be close to a cup. We want two cups because we're gonna do, um, we're going to do two versions and I don't want to have to do this over again. So we're just going to do two cups. Now, hi Luann, we're going to make two versions of meatloaf. We're going to do a Weight Watchers friendly, don't worry, those aren't going to waste. I'll put those in my eggs or something tomorrow. Chewing gum helps. Oh, that I do have somewhere, but I have to go hunting for it. So you guys don't want to wait. And I keep thinking I'm going to catch my nail. I haven't yet. Use my Thermomix. I don't know what a Thermomix is. What is that? Tell me about a Thermomix. Is it a gadget I need? Tell me, tell me. Let's see how much we have. I like lots of onion in mine. Nick makes it nice and moist and yummy. Ooh, okay, that's about a cup. Ooh. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll just do the one, other one next. We'll just get this one going. Okay, so we are doing bum, 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 a cup of grated onion. And the reason we grate is that it keeps us from having to saute. If you can't grate it, you're going to want to saute your onion just real quick in some oil or butter. It's not a do or die, but I think it helps with the flavor. Um, but if you, if you grate it, it more absorbs and cooks a little bit better. So hi, Miss Paloma. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Dee Dee. Use my, oh yeah, he's doing that. Sorry. Okay. 
We're gonna do Ritz crackers. About a cup, about a cup, about a cup. What happened to Shane? What do you mean what happened to Shane? Shane is here. He's here. Are you new? Did you think this was the Shane show? This is actually the Mama Loves Food show. Oh, the, ma yeah, the food processor would be smart. I have one of those, I just never ever use it. Um, but that would have been really smart. Yeah, so Shane has been amazing and has been covering for us. Shane is usually on, oh, oh my gosh, Shane blacked up. Shane, you told me you weren't feeling well. You didn't tell me there was, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Shane told me none of that, only that he wasn't feeling well. Well, I hope that um, he's okay. Shane, he was on just a second ago. Tell us if you're all right, dude. Freaking me out, freaking me out. All right. All right. All right. Um, so a cup of smashed Ritz is a little bit less than one sleeve. Ooh, we're glad you're well. We're glad you're well. Okay, and we're going to just mix that up with our onion. And we're going to mix everything. I don't know why I did that first. Absorb some of that onion juice. Onion juice, low blood blood sugar. Oh, that is scary. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Don't scare us like that, man. All right, we are going to. Dun, dun, dun. Kelly, are you taking notes? Cup of Ritz. Cup of grated onion. Where's my? Worcestershire sauce and an egg. We, I'm gonna do two eggs. Give it some good binding power. I did. Uh, they're right here. They're right here, you guys. They're right here. Oh my goodness. Kelly's taking notes, y'all. So if it's bad, it's totally her fault. We can blame Kelly, right? <laughs> Hello, Miss Brittany. How are you? Oh, why did I do that? I did not mean to do that, you guys. I meant to, ooh. <laughs> I think like four people just puked into their mouths, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna whisk those first. And then we will, um, and then we'll put them in. We're gonna whisk them. Whisk them, whisk them. So what has everybody been up to? Kelly says we can blame her, she doesn't mind. Just a quick whisk. Just good night, Miss Margie. Thanks for popping in and saying hello. All right, two eggs, quick whisk. Okay, two eggs. Onion, oh, let's get some garlic. Garlic, garlic, where is my garlic? Is that garlic? There's garlic. Okay, let's do. I know, Amanda, I'm a hot mess tonight. Okay, two tablespoons. This is a two tablespoon scoop. Watching and making pumpkin decorations out of toilet paper. Oh, that's so fun, definitely, oh gosh. It's like toward the end, so it's all watery. No, we want the garlic, not just the juice. Not just the juice. I love you, Miss Wanda. Kind of a mess tonight. Apartment hunting, fun. I always loved um, looking for new places. Drinking pumpkin beer. Oh, I wish I was. I did not save enough points for tonight. I made the sign on the wall says, um, "Kind words cost nothing." Now this is what I get for. Got to the bottom of my squeeze bottle. You feel better about yourself. I am glad if I can make people feel better about themselves, for sure. Playing with baby nices, nieces, mices. What is that? I don't know what a nice is. All right. Hi, <laughs> Rachel from uh, Sprinkle Some Fun is on. You guys remember Rachel? She used to do live shows with us. We miss you, Rachel. Come back. Uh, I don't know if you want to watch this episode because I'm making a hot mess up in here. Um, but okay, two tablespoons of minced garlic. Kelly, I know a lot of meatloafs don't include garlic, but I gotta tell you, I freaking love garlic. Um, I put it in everything. Not everything, I mean, I try to avoid it in baked goods, but. 
Okay. And then we need, what did I say? Okay, so we've got the beef, eggs, onion, garlic, breadcrumbs, half a cup of ketchup. Yes, that's right. We're going to put half a cup of ketchup in this bad boy. What? I really hope it doesn't turn out too watery. I'm like second guessing my <laughs> measurements that I remembered in my head. That is half a cup. Alright, half a cup of ketchup. It says quarter cup of milk. I'm gonna put a pause on the milk and see how liquidy it is. Um, we're gonna do one something of stone ground mustard. I can't read my handwriting, but we're gonna see it. My mom's only used saltine crackers, never done Ritz. Love it. I bet saltine is delicious too. I have to say, I've actually never done saltine. That's a tablespoon. I think a tablespoon might be. No, I think that'll be too mustardy. I think that'll be good. We're going to do a tablespoon of a tablespoon of stone ground Dijon mustard. The fancy stuff. Hi, Miss Lena. Hi, Anthony. The world tour, our East Coast tour was fantastic. Thank you. It was our smoothest trip yet. Less the fact that I... Um, Definitely got a little bit of food poisoning in D.C. on the way home. Not my favorite moment of the trip. Other than that, it was fantastic. The kids were great in the car. Bacon crackers? What is a bacon cracker? Tell me, tell me. Okay. Um, and then we need bullion cubes, which I totally screwed up and don't have. So instead, what did I just do with my two tablespoons? We're going to do, instead of one tablespoon of... Um, Worcestershire sauce, we're gonna use two. So Kelly, can you put that, um, normally it would be one bullion cube and one tablespoon of Worcestershire, but we're doing two tablespoons of Worcestershire because we screwed up. Hi CJ, watching from the Navajo reservation. Very cool, I love it. Okay, we're just gonna give this a little mix and mix it. And then we're gonna put the, so the reason, and I don't know if everybody does this, I really don't, but, um, it, the reason I do the mixing of this part first is because you don't want to over mix the meat and have it become too, what's the word, like compact, for lack of a better word. So we're mixing all the flavors first. Ritz makes bacon crackers. Ba oh, Ritz makes bacon crackers? What? How did I not know this? Okay, let me just make sure we got everything. Uh, meat, eggs, onion, obviously the meat's right here, onion, garlic, uh, breadcrumbs, which we used Ritz, ketchup, oh, we didn't put the milk in. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of milk in. I'm going to do, instead of, I wrote a quarter cup, but we're going to do two tablespoons instead. We're going to do two tablespoons of whole milk, Kelly. Dose tablespoons of whole milk. I think that's good. I think we were in OKC for the last show we saw. What? Hi, Camille. You guys know Camille from my mommy style. She comes on with Shane sometimes. All right, so there's our, oh my gosh, that looks really, really wrong. I'm just going to say it. That looks like a not good thing, but we're going to make it delicious. Lisa says, I use saltine crackers and put tomato soup. Ooh, yum. So I like, um, I like the ketchup because it adds just a touch of sweetness. It was well sealed. Um, so I'm using, let me make sure it's right, yeah, two pounds of ground turkey. We're going to toss it in. That's one pound. And then two pounds. Do you guys think, I don't normally... Um, line my baking tin because ooh, I should wipe that down. Um, because ground beef has a lot of fat in it, so I don't worry about it. Ground turkey doesn't have a lot of fat in it, so I'm wondering. Overworked, yes. Overworked and underpaid. I'm just kidding. You know, I know what you mean. Um, yes, we don't want to overwork the um, 
meatloaf. So it's definitely wet. It's very wet. It's wetter than I was expecting. I feel like I might have gone overboard on the liquid a little bit. <laughs> oh, you guys, it's really wet. I don't know if I can make a loaf out of this. I think we should add more breadcrumbs. I'm second guessing my, um, you think I should spray the tins? Rings on or, oh, always rings on. Always rings on. I know. It's gross, isn't it? All right. <laughs> Leanne says that looks gross, April. I agree, it does. I think it'll be fine though. It'll be fine. Okay. Um you need it with turkey in my opinion. Okay. Well let me get the spray. Let me rinse my hands real quick. the spray will do that turkey is I know turkey's got that weird consistency when it's wet it's okay it'll be fine My son and the sitter have been doing a lot of baking lately, and I think they may have used all my spray and not told me. All right, so we're gonna just try it without spray. We're gonna see what happens. Wish us luck. You make very good food. Thank you, Angela. I tried. Meatloaf and hand cream are the only things I take my rings off for. I think it needs to be wetter because turkey tends to be dry. That is very true. Okay. Let's just go ahead and scoop. We're gonna um, say a little prayer and just hope it doesn't stick. How's that sound? Use real bread and break into pieces. That'll help absorb some of the liquid. We'll be all right. We're gonna. We're just gonna try it. Oh, use breaking grease. Good call. Good call. Good call. Although that kind of defeats the purpose a little bit of our healthy turkey. Um, but we'll just use a little bit. We'll just use a little bit. Just a little bit. What is my deal? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, a little bit of baking fat. You guys watched us render this. Do you remember that? Oh, it smells so good. Alright, we're gonna do that. We'll do that. We'll get a brush out. We'll just put a tiny bit. Hi Diana, we are making mini turkey meatloaves and then we're gonna do a full size meatloaf after these go in the oven. Cheers, y'all. Cheers to my hot mess. I can't believe you missed this. <laughs> I can't believe I missed this. We're crazy. Okay, let's see. That did not, that did not melt. Let's try that again. Try that again. So, guys, tell me something. Our vacation was awesome. Andrea, this is a Hamilton Beach, so it's not what I thought I was getting. I have a I have a microwave over my stove, um, and I got this just for just for the show, and I ordered it on um, I think it was Prime Day when they had all the stuff on sale, and I thought I was getting like it was only um, I think thirty dollars. There we go. It was only like thirty dollars. I thought I was getting like oh sugar burger. I thought I just jumped. I thought I just jumped. Oh, thought I just jumped the bacon grease. I did not drop my phone. Um. Anyway, so I thought I was getting like one of those little bitty microwaves, just big enough to um. Okay, we're just putting a little bit in the bottom, not a lot, just enough so that they will hopefully slip out. We won't have to pry. Um, anyway, so I don't know what I was saying. What was I saying? Oh, I thought I was getting a little bitty microwave, and it's huge. I thought it was gonna be something I could easily move off the counter on non-show days, and it is giant and super heavy. 
So it's not exactly what I was going for, but it works well, so I can't complain about that. And my kids think it's hilarious to have two microwaves, so. Have I tried the Kraft Italian meatloaf recipe? I have not. It's good. I'll have to try that. My kids are homeschooled, um, so they never got to leave school. <laughs> we took a brief break when we were on our road trip, but um, they they go straight through the summer, which is what allows us to travel more, so I don't have to worry about them getting behind on stuff. So, what was I going to say? Oh, so our trip. So the first day, we drove to Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, but my, my in-laws got a great deal on an ABC warehouse. What's that? Oh, on a microwave. I do have a microwave in my office. It came with one, so, um, I don't need it in there. It's fine. It'll, it'll, you know, it's convenient for the show. I don't have to walk across and leave the, um, stage. And my husband doesn't seem to mind it, so. I just moved the mixer into the cabinet, so it's fine. It's fine. It is what it is. It's not the prettiest thing ever, but okay. So we're gonna scoop our turkey loaves in. All right, who's on Weight Watchers? Raise your hand if you're on Weight Watchers. You want to pull this up and calculate this for us? That would be awesome. I'm thinking it's pretty darn low points because we used the ground turkey breast. We are using ketchup's got some points, right? Not a lot though. We didn't use a lot of it. I think I I don't I don't know where are there any points in this? What did we use? Maybe add a point for the bacon grease. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Eggs are no points, right? <gasps> Jamie, you look marvelous. I need to come back to bridge day. I don't think I could do that. It was really um, kind of crazy. That bridge was something else, man. All right, so we went to Charlotte, but we just slept overnight there. We didn't actually do Charlotte. Then we drove the next day to Pittsburgh, and on the way to Pittsburgh, somebody was just mentioning the bridge, we, um, crackers, thank you, the crackers are what's going to add points. But considering it's a cup for all of these, I think that's probably not a ton, right? Um, anyway, so... My hair looks... Thank you, Kathleen. This is called the Did Not Wash My Hair Today Look. See also Princess Leia. Do you think that's why Princess Leia wore those buns all the time? She was like, it's been four days. I don't really want to see how greasy it is. Anyway, so we um, we drove over this bridge uh, about halfway between Pittsburgh and Charlotte. And it was, uh, we, we just weren't really paying attention. We were just driving. And as we're going over this bridge, I'm really realizing this uh, bridge has is enormous is enormous and a little bit terrifying and also completely gorgeous and beautiful we're going on this absolutely gorgeous river anyway so we get to the other side of it and you can't really see as you're crossing it what it looks like um you know you can just see the the bridge the part the road part that you're going over so um as we get across there is a sign that says scenic overlook so I said to my husband, we're we're getting we're making good time on this trip so far. And let's go ahead and stop at the scenic overlook and take a look. I bet it's beautiful. So we were so pleasantly surprised to find out it was not just a scenic overlook, guys. It was a um it was a it was the New River Gorge and it was a national park. Um, so we did the boardwalk. There's a boardwalk that goes about halfway down the gorge and you can see the bridge, which is this just magnificently gorgeous bridge. You can see all the people, um, rafting, um, the river below. And then they've got a museum there that is really well done, totally free. And my sister taught me, um, recently that if you go to a state park with your kids, ask about... The what time is it in Florida? It is 10.50 at night, you guys. We are going real late tonight. Holy moly. Um, let me just grab a spatula real quick. So any, if you're at any state park, go to the ranger and ask if they have the junior ranger program. Almost all of them do. Um, five crackers is three points. Good to know. I have to figure. So how many crackers are in a sleeve? That's uh, 
don't because I didn't count how many we used, but I could figure it out pretty easily because it was most of a sleeve. Probably like eight tenths of a sleeve. So what's eight tenths? Four fifths of a sleeve. Um, anyway, so the junior program is different at every um, every place. You know, they get to decide what they want to do for it. But basically, the kids have to to do a series of tasks. And then they get sworn in as a junior ranger. And uh, okay, so there's our turkey meatloaves. Yay! All right, I'm going to cover these in foil, and we're going to put them in the oven for 20, about 25. Okay, so that's not terrible. So we've got one, two, we've got 12 meatloaves. So if that's basically the only points. I mean, what is that? I don't know. Somebody figure that out for me. <laughs> Two points per mini wheat meatloaf, Kelly says. We're doing real rough. I'll figure it out exactly, but that's pretty good, I think. Um, okay, so we're going to cover this in foil, and we're going to put it in a 350-degree oven. I was just curious. What are we curious about? Sorry, Angela. Oh, you're allowed to be curious. That's fine. Um, anyway, so, yeah, the kids would be... Junior Ranger program, and when you complete the Junior Ranger program, you get a, a, a sticker badge, you get a real badge, and you get a pin. And my kids collect pins, so it was like the best day ever for them. They were very, very, very happy about that. Also, it was really fun. They had to, you know, do these puzzles. It was a book full of puzzles, and they had to like... We had to interview the ranger, and it was fun. It took about a half an hour total. It was the perfect stop. The kids were excited. Um, my eight-year-old is just so excited that he got sworn in as a real junior ranger. <laughs> so he thinks he's someone super special now. All right, we're going to put these in the middle rack of the oven, 350 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes, and then we'll, um, well, we'll check on them after 20 minutes. Ugh, there we go. That's hot. Okay. I'm gonna set the timer over here. Dun, 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 dun. Timer. 20 minutes. Okay, now we're gonna start on our second. Hello, David from Canada. We were just in Canada. Anyway, so I just lost 40 people. Oh, Angela, you look beautiful today. Hi, Marissa. Okay, so round dose. Hi, Miss. Was I were I able to keep my soap? So <laughs> I ha I still haven't um, totally cleaned it. So this I got all the the plastic out, but when I turned it on, those of you who don't know, we had a bit of a plastic melting in the oven problem a few weeks ago. Um, I have two ovens, so that's why we're using the other oven. But I tried to use my um, oven, and it stunk really bad. So I don't. I think I just need to let it let it work through. Um, I think I need to just like put it at 500 degrees and leave the house for four hours and let it burn off that because it's just the residue. It's, there's no actual plastic left in there. Um, but I haven't done that yet since we were out of town and sick. Okay, so do I still No, Stephanie, I'm sorry. I haven't sold LuLaRoe for a long time. Um, okay. What are we doing? So round two, we're going to do actual meat meatloaf instead of turkey meatloaf. And we're going to do it in a loaf pan because that is how my husband likes it. I'm going to grab a loaf pan. Oh, that is not a loaf pan, you guys. I did not grab a loaf pan. That is... Ooh, sugar bugger. You guys, I have a lot of kitchen stuff. Holy moly. extra flavor. Thank you, Nikki. I love this sweater. It's a, uh, it's an old one from Target. Okay. First we're going to, is this going to be the same recipe? The only difference is that we are going to use ground beef instead. I'm too cute. I am not cute, but thank you. Meat, meatloaf in a pan because we have the meat. We have the meat. Any good weekends for Labor Day 
food. Oh my gosh, I have so many good ideas. I'm actually gonna go ahead and send out an email tomorrow full of all the ideas, but um, depends on what you're doing. Maybe some taco casserole, if you don't wanna work while you got friends over. Maybe some hot dogs on the barbecue and our one pot mac and cheese, right? That's a good one, don't have to think about it. What about macaroni salad? I have a killer macaroni salad on the website. Oh my gosh, it's so good. If you haven't tried it, you need to. You guys, my allergies are so bad tonight. I um, So we got home on really, really late Monday night. And, oh, well, I forgot to tell you this part. So hi, Kahali from Savannah, Georgia. Oh, oh, taco casserole, casserole. Kelly can give you the link to the taco casserole. That's on the website. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention we went to Savannah. We went to Savannah the first day. We did um, the Air Force Museum, which was awesome. The kids loved that. Um, I am all over the place tonight, you guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, by the way, by the way, don't forget about our screenshot. Our, we just lost like another 25 people. They're like, you are a horrible woman. What is wrong with you? Um, what are we talking about? So I mowed the lawn the day before we left and I broke the lawnmower. I went over a huge root and it just totally broke the blade. I know I'm trying not to break my, uh, grate my nail, Suzanne. Um, so we got home and it literally rained for two weeks while we were gone and was sunny and it's Florida. So the grass is like knee high, sorry neighbors. And um, so I couldn't even mow the grass right away. So Wes fixed the mower yesterday and I mowed it until I ran out of gas, but I, I mowed most of it. And, um, but it was, it literally like, well not knee high, but calf high. Um, so, oh my gosh, just kicked everything into the air. Good night, Miss Maureen. Thanks for hanging out. Screenshot show. Yes, my yard is huge. Um, yeah, we have an acre. I mean, not huge, but it's, it's a good sized yard. Um, yeah, watch out for snakes. No joke. Well, it's mowed now, so it's good. And I did not mow over any snakes that I'm aware of. <laughs> so, what was I saying? Screenshot. Get your best screenshot. What was that? Let me just make a weird noise. Um, yeah, don't forget to do the screen cap because tonight's the only night because we did not have, we, it was, uh, it was um, Shane on Tuesday. So get it tonight. Someone's going to get a trip to Starbucks or you can run away from your company that's visiting for a few hours. <laughs> Hide at Starbucks. Lived in Savannah for two, but two months now. Why is it so hot? Oh, girl. Welcome. Welcome to the South. <laughs> Valencia says hot dogs are the symbol of summer. So does that mean we have to make hot dogs because summer is over? Summer is just about over? Like one last hurrah, is that how it works? We have a one-year-old's birthday party on Saturday. My best friend's baby. Guys, remember when she had the baby? It's been a year. It's been a year. Is that crazy? The miracle baby that we never thought we'd get? Craziness. He's a year. Which means my couch is a year by the way, in case you're curious. Hey, Karen, so the screenshot contest, I know I didn't really explain that very well, did I? The screenshot contest is grab your favorite screenshot, like if I'm like, you know, whatever, there's gonna be 14 of those, um, or doing something weird, whatever, grab, so Kelly is the judge, so play to your, play to your audience, you know, play to your judge. Um, all right, we're just gonna, Uh, anyway, grab a screen cap and then join our community group. Totally forgot to mention that. We just lost another 10 people. Y'all, share, share. Sharon is Karen. People are not into the show tonight. That's okay. I think you guys are gorgeous. Thanks for hanging around. Okay. That's about a cupish, right? We're just going to call it a cup. Anyway, so I will put a post up right after the show. Um, asking for your best screen cap. The end of the day tomorrow, Kelly will tell us which one is her personal favorite. So we've got a cup of grated onion and we're gonna do a cup of Ritz crackers. Thank you for sharing this, Michelle. 
It doesn't cool off until like December down here. Yeah, and if you live in Florida, it doesn't cool off until like February. And then it warms up again in March. Super exciting. Love my, love my state. Best day ever. Alright, let's do a little bit more. Dun -dun. Ah, you rock, Miss Rose. You rock. What was I saying? Anyway, so yeah, so put up your favorite. You can put two, so you can grab two screen crap, screen craps. I mean, maybe they are crappy screenshots. That's what Kelly likes. Okay, cup of that. How do you do a screenshot? Okay, it depends on what you're watching on. What are you watching on? And then somebody can go ahead and explain to you. Um, all right, so that's the onion and the breadcrumbs or Ritz crackers in our case. Can you, yes, Sandra, two pictures, two pictures, two pictures. All right. And then we're going to do our two whisk eggs. Bye, Miss Deanna. Thanks for hanging out. Um, yeah. And then if you're on a laptop, oh, you absolutely can, Miss Chrissy. Hit print screen, and that will save the whatever's on your screen to your clipboard and then you can paste it or um, you can paste it. So since we don't have the thread going right now, you can paste it like onto a notepad or in an, into an email um, to yourself and then you can post it on Facebook later. <gasps> Thanks, Miss Sharon. All right, so we're whisking two eggs right now. Put those in. There we go. Um, Kelly's explaining all the fun stuff right now. Okay, and then we need mm, garlic. Two tablespoons of garlic. Yeah, home button and right side button on the iPhones. I think it's a little different on the X, is that? Ooh, oh, that was a little bit more than I anticipated. That's okay. It's gonna be extra garlicky. Don't kiss me tomorrow. <laughs> You're welcome, Miss Kissy. Good. Yeah, I'm sure people are going to bed. I'm just being silly. I'm just glad anybody comes. I can't believe anybody wants to watch me make a fool of myself. Okay, we've got uh, eggs, onion, garlic, breadcrumbs. We need half a cup of ketchup. Where's our ketchup? Ketchup, ketchup, spin me around. Do you guys remember that? Pinwheel, pinwheel, spin me around. I don't know. I don't know what the words are, but it was that show on Nickelodeon. I used to love it. Isn't there a worm on it? Like a talking worm? Maybe it was a snail. It was a snail. It wasn't a worm. Anyway, so um, Kelly says on her Samsung, you just swipe your hand across the screen. Well, that's fancy. Sandra has the same garlic. We are garlic twins, yo. Lunchtime in Tasmania. Are you having? Meatloaf for lunch. All right, there's a half a cup of ketchup. Still a little worried that we're doing too much liquid. Might have to adjust. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Hashtag garlic twins. Okay, so we've got eggs, onion, garlic, uh, crackers, ketchup. Oh. Mustard. What did we do? How much mustard did we do? We did. Kelly, remind me how much mustard we put in the last one. I think it was one tablespoon. But remind me. Oh, that's from scooping. What kind of garlic is that bottle? It's just minced garlic. Let's squeeze it out. Um. And then we did two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Only because we forgot to buy the bullion. So normally it'd be one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Thank you, Tina. And one um, bullion cube, like kind of crushed up. So it's that's not mustard. There's the mustard. Okay. The turkey and the beef meatloaf. Yes. Edie, the turkey and the beef meatloaf are the same recipe, just one is turkey, one is beef. I haven't made the turkey one before. Um, we are just testing it. We're going to see if it works with turkey. Thank you, Kelly. I mean, a little bit late, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
What do we need? Oh, and milk. What did I do? Two tablespoons of milk. Is that right? Kelly, was it one tablespoon or two tablespoons of milk? I grow my own garlic. Ooh, I bet that's delicious. We have 11 minutes left on that um, first meatloaf. I should slow my roll. Two tablespoons. Thank you. Two tablespoons of milk. Can you know, I mean, we need to talk about something for a minute. Can we talk about something for a minute? Recipes call for, that's a two tablespoon scoop, by the way. Hi, Melissa. Um, recipes call for like rounded numbers of things, right? So I'm just going to mix this up. Um, for example, recipes are going to call for like a pound of beef or a pound of turkey or, oh, you know what I didn't think about? Because the... The bouillon is powdered. Well, sometimes I use the better than bouillon, though. That's kind of liquidy. I don't know. Anyway. Good night, Miss Janet. Thanks for hanging out. All right. That's all mixed up. Let's just double check. We got eggs. We got onion. We got garlic. We got um, crackers. We got ketchup. We got milk. We got mustard. We got um, Worcestershire sauce. And we are pretending we have bouillon. So... Yeah, so they come in like rounded numbers, right? Can we talk about the fact that, and yes, I know there was a recall. I bought these today after the recall happened, so I know these are good. Um, can we talk about the fact that my market always sells ground beef, can you guys see the numbers, in weird numbers? 1.14 pounds, 1.15 pounds. Can we just get... Can we just get a pound, please? Can we do that? Oh my goodness. It does look really wet. <laughs> um, Kathy, there is tons of salt in the Worcestershire sauce, and we use salted Ritz, so it should be plenty salty. It does look really wet. We might have to add some extra breadcrumbs to it. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so this is just a little bit over two pounds because, 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 because. Uh, we might have to add some extra breadcrumbs. Might happen. Might happen. Might happen. Ugh. Oh, so yummy. So yummy. So I personally am not a fan of meatloaf that is um, like formed into a loaf and then Wet meat is fun. I love to manipulate my meat and play with my meat. Um, it's a little wet. We're going to put it in and see what happens, though. It'll be fine, I think. Anyway, I'm not a fan of... Um, meatloaf that's done on a tray because I feel like it dries it out. Although, maybe this could use a little drying. My timer. I don't have 11 minutes left. It's 11 o'clock. Well, apparently my timer didn't go. I don't know what's going on with the timer. But we're just going to have to check those tins. Do you guys think? <laughs> Cherie says I bought my stand mixer so I wouldn't have to mix meatloaf with my hands. I feel like, Cherie, you are a smarter person than I am. This is a very wet meatloaf. Um, I'm not sure. Probably would have skipped the extra milk. That's okay. Hi, Sarah. Uh, I like it to be, right? That's what, So anyway, that's what I was going to say. One, it dries it out. And two, how do you make those perfect meatloaf sandwiches if it's like on a tray and in that like weird shape, right? Like this makes perfect meatloaf sandwiches. Anyway, so the way we do this is we put it in the oven for 45 minutes. I know my hands are so gross. Put in the oven at 350 for 45 minutes, covered. Then, because I'm not going to make you wait and watch me for 45 minutes, um, then 
we take it, oh, I need more soap. Um, we take it out and we drain whatever liquid's on the top because I'll tell you, I did not use lean ground beef. I like my meatloaf moist. You guys hate that word, I know. Moist meatloaf. So we did not use lean ground beef. Um, so there will be liquid pooling on the top. It'll be super sexy, nice and wet, lots of wet meat. Um, and where is the fat? Well, I'm going to tell you. It's going to pool at the top, and we are going to drain it. And I'm going to put it on a, um, on a sheet, so if it spills over at all, it'll just go into that. Because um, this is actually smaller than the normal meatloaf pan that I use. Um, I'm realizing, I usually, that's not all the way to the bottom either. I've got some pockets. We've got some pockets. There we go. That's a little better. Um, so we're gonna cover it, put it in the oven, 45 minutes. <laughs> I don't either. Moist does not bother me in the slightest. Um, there we go. We're going to cover it. We're going to put it in the oven for 45 minutes at 350 degrees. We're going to take it out. We're going to drain whatever fat has pooled. And then we are going to put a barbecue sauce, ketchup, Worcestershire sauce mixture over the top like a glaze. I don't personally like, um, I don't personally like brown sugar in my glaze. I don't like, it's too sweet for me. I feel like the ketchup has enough sweetness, but if you do like it, um, uh, oh, Sh Cherie, you're so smart. You should come cook with us. Cherie says, shape it into a loaf on a foil covered baking sheet. Well, no, so that's what I thought you were saying. Sorry, never mind. I was, I was misunderstanding. I actually don't like it. We were just talking about that. I don't like it on a baking sheet because I feel like it dries out a little bit more. My timer already went off. No, was that what that was? You guys, I got a new microwave and I don't recognize that. Is that what that was? Oh my goodness. It might have been. It might have been. Okay, we're going to put this in the oven. I'm going to set this timer this time. Set timer for 45 minutes. Because I know what this one sounds like when it goes off. We're going to put this in the oven. We're going to check on those turkey meatloaves real quick. Anyway, if you like a, a really sweet um, glaze on your meatloaf, just go ahead and add two tablespoons of brown sugar to it, and it'll be nice and sweet. I am not a fan of that, though, so I'm not going to. Okay, let's see how our... Let's... Something just fell. I don't know what that was. All right, let's see how we did here. Totally the timer. Oops. Oops. Oops, these are not done. We knew they weren't going to be done. It was only 20 minutes, right? But they're getting there. And obviously these are turkeys, but there's not a lot of liquid pulling at the top. But they look nice and delicious. Okay, so for these, I am going to pull off. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of um, liquid on the top. I'm just going to let that run off. You guys can see what I'm doing. Just a little bit. Alright. So for these, Carolyn, it's okay. Click share, share this to your wall. And ooh, in your mother's angel food two pan. That is smart. Also a butt pan would work like nicely. Um, we are going to use sugar-free barbecue sauce to glaze these with. And then we're gonna put them back in the oven. I'm gonna say about another 15 minutes at least. So what were they in? They were in 20 minutes and then 15. That sounds about right. If I can get this open. If I can get this open. Carolyn, you didn't miss up with me. Don't worry. We're still here. We still love you. Anyway, how is everyone tonight? I only told you like about four seconds of my road trip. So we went to Charlotte. We went to the Air Force Museum outside of Charlotte. Not Charlotte, Savannah. Then we slept in Charlotte at the... Do you guys ever stay at the Drury Inn? I am obsessed with Drury Inns, you guys. Drury Inns, and they used to be only in the Midwest, but now they are... Mm, this is good. Do you guys Have you guys tried this? The sugar-free... Is it Mr. G. Hughes Smokehouse Sugar-Free Barbecue Sauce? It is really, really yummy. 
Um, anyway, zero points, so that's what we're going to use this. Um, we, the Drury Inn has, first of all, they have suites with doors that close in between the bedroom and, like, the room with the couch. So it's perfect for us. I lost comments, you guys. I can't see any comments right now. Totally blank. Um, can everybody say hi real quick? Sometimes that'll ungum the comments if we get a bunch at once. Anyway, so we're just gonna go ahead and paint. Paint. I see hearts, but I don't see any comments. So the Drury Inn, first of all, has suites so we can close the door so Wes and I can have our own room and all the kids set up their, um, cots on the floor. And they can watch their own TV and, um, I'll say hi as soon as I get comments back. <laughs> um, it's great. That's wonderful. Also, it's very reasonably priced. They, they do not pay me. I would love if they paid me. Jurian, call me up. They could do a deal. Anyway, the best part though, you guys, they have hot breakfast. Love that. Still not the best part. Hot breakfast, lots of juices, waffle bar fantastic eggs sausage all that good stuff not that bs continental breakfast thing people are trying to pull on you guys nowadays on you guys on us nowadays um they have dinner every night you guys they call it the 5 30 kickback from 5 30 don't quote me on this i'm pretty sure it's from 5 30 to 7 30 every night um they have a dinner spread. They always have hot dogs for the kids. They usually have um, a soup or two. Sometimes they have chili. They have. They usually have like a um, chips and nachos stuff. Um, sometimes they'll have like um, pastas with chicken. Oh my gosh, it's like a legit dinner. You guys, when we stay there with our kids, do you know how much it costs to feed a family of seven? It's really freaking expensive. It basically takes 50% off the cost of the hotel because they feed us breakfast and dinner. And it's not bad. I mean, look, it's not going to win any Michelin stars, but I've paid for worse. And, oh, wait, still haven't told you the best part. Oh, this is not a fancy place, Kelly. I mean, it's like totally middle of the road. Um, but it's clean and nice. Like, it's... But it's not fancy like it's not expensive best part each adult gets two free drinks a night oh yeah they've got a little bar near the buffet and every adult in a room gets two free drinks and guess whose husband doesn't drink on vacation so guess who gets four free drinks awesome and they have like beer they have wine they have you know margarita mix and just super basic cocktails but yeah fantastic best thing ever i love it anyway so yeah i love the jury in i'm always sad when we can't find one <laughs> okay we're putting these back in the oven we've just glazed everything with hot oh i see you guys hi melinda yes heck yes amanda all right so we just glazed our turkey meatloafs with um sugar-free barbecue sauce because we're trying to keep it under three points um a meatloaf and we're gonna put these back in the 350 degree oven. Oh shoot, I didn't put the other meatloaf in. Uh, we're gonna put it toward the bottom because we're gonna put the other one in the middle rack. And we're gonna, um, yeah, so I should reset that timer, huh? Uh, cancel timer. Set timer for 45 minutes. Okay, we've got that one, and then it's 11.20, it's 11.35, I'll pull out the other ones. You guys, I am so sorry that I did not get anything finished on this show, but I will do an Instagram story of the finished product. Um, Weight Watchers did go out the window while I was away, but, you know, it was fine. For about the first half of the trip, I tried to be good during the day, and then, like, didn't worry about um, dinner meals. I let myself splurge. And then the second half of the trip, I was just, forget it. I just ate what I wanted and figured I would get back track, back on track at home. 
um, so it was fine. Um, and it actually kind of worked out because um, I got food poisoning um, on NBC. <laughs> so um, I lost most of the weight. I'm only four pounds up from when I left. Anyway, don't be sorry, Brittany. We're glad you're here. Anyway, so yeah, I got four pounds to get back to where I was, which isn't terrible. And um, I didn't make myself crazy and we had a great time. We did a ton of walking, so. Um, so, yeah, anyway, thanks for hanging out, guys. Um, like I said, I will Instagram stories. Make sure you join our community group. If you're not part of the community group, we can think, continue the conversation from the show over there. Everybody's friends. We share stories and food. It's not just food. Lots of food, but it's not just food. Yeah, food poisoning. That was terrible. It was terrible. You guys, I feel so sorry for the Target that I had to stop at. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry, Target. We spent a lot of money on you, though, because I felt bad. <laughs> anyway. So... Did you say that your your brother-in-law's barbecue sauce? What? Shut up, that's amazing. You're like a celebrity. Um, yeah, so join the community group. As soon as we turn this off, I will pop over there and make a post for the screen capture um, contest. Make sure to put your favorite screen cap. I'm gonna say I'm partial to the ones where I look thin and cute. Um, Kelly is partial to the ones where I look like the, the worst better for her <laughs> um so yeah make sure you join make sure you do that have a great night you guys have a wonderful wonderful um labor day stay safe you're awesome i'm actually just working on labor day we're not doing anything but um yeah i'm gonna send out an email tomorrow too with my labor day food recommendations i feel like i'm missing something but i don't know I'll put it in the comments later if I remember. So, cross your fingers that these come out good, because I'm excited. Because I mean, three points of meatloaf is fantastic. Is that right, Kelly? Was it three points? Anyway, we'll we'll calculate that too. And I will, um, assuming everything comes out good and I didn't screw anything up. I don't think I did. I think it's fine. Um, we will put the full wet recipe on the website later. You're awesome. You guys are gorgeous. Thank you so much for being here. Um, if you didn't share or you came in late, go ahead and share this to your wall so you can watch it again later. Um, or also, just Facebook really likes it when you share. So do I. Have a good night, guys. Yes, I will be on next week.